I can't find my AC remote. The AC remote is inside the cupboard in the lower drawer. Please check there. Let me know if you need more help. Okay, by what time can I check out? Checkout time is by 1 p.m. If you need anything else, feel free to ask. Okay, let's end the call. And now let's wait for this automation to run. It should send us whatever happened. The user inquired about operating the washing machine, locating the AC remote and checkout time. This video is inspired by a recent project I made for an Airbnb client of mine who wanted to have a 24-7 voice AI agent that their customers or hosts can call and solve their problems instead of they manually having to receive all those calls in odd hours so that he can offload 90% of those tasks to AI and, and use his own time for some other tasks. And not only that, this client has also scaled this solution to all of their Airbnb properties because it gave them immense ROI starting from day one. And in this video, I'm going to teach you everything about building an Airbnb or a hotel voice AI agent that will solve customer queries 24-7. And also, it can notify you on every call that has been processed. And if there is something that is super urgent or the AI is not able to solve, it can also transfer those 1% cases to an actual human being. Let's first understand what is the problem that we are trying to solve here. These are the four problems I have seen, especially Airbnb hosts tackling for every single guest. Number one is getting calls at odd hours. And we have all done late check-ins to hotels or Airbnbs ourselves. But if we think from the host perspective, there can be many guests like us who are coming in, their flights are delayed or whatever happened, but they come in at odd hours and it's not always possible to be available to every single customer. That is a very important second problem. The third problem is that 90% of the queries that guests ask are actually solved. They are from the FAQs. The usual questions I have seen guests asking is, where are the keys of the locks? Or what's the code of the front door? Or where is the AC remote? Or where is the parking? The answer to all of those queries is always the same. But it has to be conveyed to every single guest differently in different times. And that's where the power of AI comes. And lastly, very few times there are guests who face some issues but are maybe shy or too polite to even ask you. And there's nothing wrong with that. Just people are sometimes uh, introverts or don't want to disturb you. But at the time of reviews, you might get slightly negative reviews from those people because they faced those problems and they had nowhere to go. And this AI solution solved that issue as well. So what is the solution for all of that? The solution we are proposing is we are going to have a 24-7 voice AI concierge that would immediately resolve whatever issues the guests are having just by having a phone number and an agent on that phone number available 24-7. Also, we'll put instant notification to the host whenever a problem is solved by an agent so that they can immediately or later review what happened between the agent and the guest and if the uh, problem was indeed solved. And for those 1% cases where the AI is not able to answer or solve the issue, we also have a fallback or a transfer function to transfer the call to the host as well. And that's just for one property. If you're having multiple properties across different areas, you can figure out the immense ROI that you will get from deploying this solution. This is a graphical representation, uh, like a flowchart that of what we are building. So the guest can, can call anytime. The agent can solve the queries. If it's urgent, the agent will transfer the call to a human. And, and after all of that, the ultimate result is going to be that the guests leave as happy guests and you will have positive reviews. That is the number one factor when you are in any hotel or Airbnb business. Right. And for that, we are going to use Wappy for the agent. So let's go to our Wappy dashboard. So this is my Wappy dashboard and we are here in the assistance tab and we have to create an assistant that will be the one who will take all those calls and we'll also assign a phone number to that agent so that whenever somebody calls that number, this agent will ultimately pick, solves all the problems and in rare cases, transfer the call to the human host if the problem is not solvable by the AI. 
and also it will give you a notification on your telegram or email whenever a call has happened so for this you don't have to be an expert on Vapi, but if you want uh, there would be a video on the screen right now which you can check if you want to see how Vapi exactly works. but here i'm going to take you straight up to the assistant creation screen which you can access from here and just you have to create an assistant uh, just name it whatever you want and click a blank template and this is the agent setting i'm having so i'm having openai as my provider gpt 4.1 mini as my model uh, I want the assistant to speak first and this is my first message. Welcome to our amazing Airbnb and Nia. How can I help you today? Right. And this is my agent prompt in which I have tried to cover most of the FAQs that clients will usually ask to a hotel or an Airbnb. So I have prompted the agent to be friendly and helpful. And these are all my details that I have put that people usually ask for. Right, so I have put my Wi-Fi details, check-in, check-out time, address, parking, garbage, recycling, uh, also how the appliances and amenities work. And this should cover 90% of the cases of what issues the clients will have. Of course, you as an owner might have your experience and you can design the prompt differently. But this, in my experience, covers most of the use cases of Airbnb host. Now, our agent is there. Now, we have to connect an automation so that we can get a notification whenever a call is closed by this agent and for that we are going to use a very simple automation from anytin okay so this is my blank anytin automation and the trigger step i'll put here is a webhook node because uh because we are going to put this webhook url inside our vapi agent and configure it to send the post call events to this webhook and then we'll catch those post call events and transfer it to either an email or a telegram node that will give us notifications right so we're gonna just keep it like this right now and we will select a next node and i will probably do here telegram right and i will say send message a text message right now here i will just show you how to create a bot that will receive all your notification from telegram right so for that we have to go to bot father inside telegram right and we have to create a new bot from here and we can say the name of that bot is airbnb bot and now we want to have a username for that bot so airbnb bot Okay, it's taken, uh, let's see, bot. Okay, now we have our bot, which is named Airbnb 33 bot. The name doesn't matter because it's only for your internal use. And this is the important stuff. This is the API key that we have to copy from here. And we have to paste exactly here. And if I save it, the connection should establish right away. Let me retry this to verify. And yes, the connection is established, right? Now, the next step is we have to go to message and we have to figure out the chat ID. Now, there are so many methods to find the chat ID, but the easiest that I have figured out is just to search for this raw data bot and click start and it immediately will give you your information of your account. And here is your chat ID. All you have to do is copy this, paste it here. Go to your bot which you just created on bot father click on that bot and start it and just put any message right here if you try to run the automation without sending this first message it's gonna fail right and now i can just put this is a message from any end if i execute this should send this message okay it's trying to wait for the webhook which we don't have right now so we're gonna just unlink that node and execute this step and now we have this message from init end so this is working now all we have to do is connect this webhook to here and now get the webhook and fetch what information we want to send from that webhook to our to our telegram node right so for that let's copy production url from here click save so we go back to vapi we go to advanced 
and we scroll down and we go to messaging and they put our server URL right here and then we can define what messages we want to have in that webhook. By default, Wappy will send you a lot of messages which you don't want. So we are going to just select what we want. So we don't want all of the statuses, all of tool calls, user defined. We're gonna just want transcript and end of call report. And that's it. That's all what we need to have. And we're gonna publish this. And that's it. That's our whole automation. Now, and after this, this should send a webhook with all the details. And after we have the data here, we will map this data to our Telegram bot. And then the whole process should be complete. Hello. Welcome to our amazing Airbnb. I'm Nia. How can I help you today? I was wondering where is the parking? Parking is a short walk from the main entrance. Walk about 20 steps and you'll find a large parking lot on the left. Okay, and how do I manage the garbage? Please pack all your garbage in the reusable plastic bags located in the bottom cabinet of the kitchen. Thank you. Okay, now this call is ended. If I go back to my N8N, we should have our webhook details like details of whatever happened in this conversation like this i'm going to pin it right here and then i'm going to use to select which information i'm going to have to pass to, to this agent of my telegram node right so i'll click here and i'm going to search for the summary right here like this okay and i don't think i need anything else once we link a number to this agent, we'll also have an inbound number from the customer and that will enable us to identify which customer actually called the agent and what was uh, the conversation, right? So this is, uh, I think, the only thing which I would require as a host to immediately be sent to my Telegram. And if everything is working, if I talk to the agent now, it should just send the summary automatically on this bot after the call ends. Right, so let's see everything happening in real time. Uh, let me just make it side by side. Let's talk to the agent and let's ask her some other questions. Hello. Welcome to our amazing Airden. I'm Nia. How can I help you today? Hey, I was wondering how do I operate the washing machine? To use the washing machine, just put in your laundry. Close the lid and press the play pause button. Everything is automatic from there. Let me know if you need help with anything else. I can't find my AC remote. The AC remote is inside the cupboard in the lower drawer. Please check there. Let me know if you need more help. Okay, by what time can I check out? Checkout time is by 1 p.m. If you need anything else, feel free to ask. Okay, let's end the call. And now let's wait for this automation to run. It should send us whatever happened. The user inquired about operating the washing machine, locating the AC remote and checkout time. The AI provided instructions for washing machine directed the user to the AC remote in the cupboard's lower drawer, which is what the prompt was, and confirmed the checkout is by 1 p.m. So this automation is indeed working, right? The next step which remains is to uh, link this bot to a phone number which you can do right from here right so you can purchase a phone number or you can link uh, your Twilio or Vapi or Telnix or Monage account here and once the number is right here just select the agent that will answer when you call on this number and everything else would be exactly how it is you will also get the phone number inside this summary. So without having to do anything, you have just elevated the experience of your guest 10 times and probability of getting positive reviews by approximately 20 times. This is the power of voice AI agents. And I just made it for one of my clients who run multiple Airbnbs. And I thought this would be useful for the people who are host themselves or somebody who is trying to make similar workflows how amazing it is as an experience to every person in business and if you want some custom automations to be made the link to book a meeting with me would be in the description so that's all for now
you can check out more videos on voice AI automations on my channel. And don't forget to drop in your comments on what topic you would want to see the next videos. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.